Hello, uh, welcome to Challenge and Change in Society and some helpful tips for completing the quizzes. First, you're gonna go to the correct lesson, click on the tab and go to quiz. When you're in the quiz, just know that you have an unlimited amount of time. Every time you click on an answer, it's saved and you can see the check mark here. And you can just, you know, if you want to stop, close the quiz, it's, it's fine. And then you can go back to it later, continue quiz. It's unlimited time, so there's, there's no, no worry about that. You can take as long as you need to. Another helpful tip is when you find like something like operational definition, so something that is very uh, defined, it's a key word, I would copy it, right click copy or control C to copy, then go into the reading and press control F and then control V. And then you can find that definition there and all the times that it states where the that keyword is. So then you can get, uh, you can move around quickly and efficiently uh, to find the correct answer and then just read over each option and pick the best answer. Okay, same with random sample. I'll do it again, so I'll right click, copy, and I'll go to the reading, control F, it's already there, and I'll press control V, right click and paste, it's up to you. Press random sample, so that must be on the next reading. I'll do that, random sample, and there it is there. Press down to go look at each one, and sure enough, you're gonna find your answer somewhere in there. Uh, another thing is that, make sure that you are aware of how many points each question is worth. So if this is three points, that means you need to write three things about um, reliability and validity. This is three points, so you'll need to answer each of those three questions, three variables, three differences, and then submit when you're all finished. Hope this was helpful to you. Um, as well, I'll go over the first module. There is a project. Pick one of these people. Uh, Pierre Trudeau, David Suzuki. Um, Terry Fox, Viola Desmond, try to pick someone that, you, that you're interested in, maybe someone new, and conduct some research. Make sure the research uh, is using credible resources. And you're gonna make a PowerPoint. Use PowerPoint that's offered in your hub. So click on this waffly thing, and then open a PowerPoint here. And then you can choose a theme. There's more themes. For this one, student has found that this one's really great. It's a biography presentation. It's perfect. Uh, make sure that you name it something obvious. So maybe your name or, you know, project one, module one. Uh, if you need it, if you don't like these, you can just click on it and then press delete and it will go away. If you really like one, you can duplicate it. Duplicate slide, I right clicked on it, and press duplicate. If you'd like an entirely different one, just right click in between and you can click new slide or you can click this one and it can pick it for you or you can click just beside it and you'll see that you have the option to pick the slide that you want. And you can also move them up and down like this. Um, I would say maximum 10 slides, preferably five. I think that's more than enough four or five, and yeah, show us what you got. Um, you can check it out, check out your results by clicking presentation, clicking through it, seeing how it looks. Okay, so those are my tips for kind of the first unit. They're all quizzes. Um, actually, except for Sorry, I should say lesson five. I've also changed it as well. 
I changed it so there's an option B, which I think is going to be easier. There's, there's a video that you're going to watch. And then you just fill out the differences between conservative and liberal. Um, this is also a, a link to it. I'd also like you to check out the vote compass. Perhaps I can turn that into a, into a project itself. Um, and it, then you can decide kind of where you fall on in the, in the spectrum. You know what? Yeah, I think that would be great. All right, so those are my tips. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Have a good one. Take care.